Hello YouTubers. This video is a small demo about Siemens PLC's routing capabilities. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. What is S7 routing? S7 routing comes in help when the transfer of data beyond S7 subnet boundaries is needed. Data can be sent from transmitter to a receiver across several S7 subnets. S7 routing is possible via various S7 subnets, like Profinet Industrial Ethernet, Profibus. To be able to use S7 routing, all but last one device must support S7 routing. All the devices must be configured in Step 7. As CPUs play the role of an S7 router the routing information is obtained by downloading hardware configuration to the CPUs. Let's take a closer look at the first setup. Here we have two CPUs connected via Profinet. PGPC is connected to the second CPU via different subnet. The IP addresses are as follows. The task is to access first PLC, that is outside of PNIE2 subnet. In this case PLC2 will take a role of router. First of all you need to be sure, that your CPU supports S7 routing. You can find that information in the description of the CPU. All you need to do is browse the hardware catalog and find your CPU. Here you can see, that my CPU supports routing. So I will be able to access the first CPU via second one. As both CPUs are in the same project there is no need to take any special actions. Let's try to access the second CPU that is directly connected to the PGPC. Select second PLC, click on online, select go online. Warm tip, if you will not see this window in clicking go online, then you need to select extended go online, from menu online. At this point you have two options, select interface subnet and search for CPU, or remove connection with subnet assignment and delete project specific IP address. If you decide to select option 2, then you need to click on icon configure interface. In general settings, set assignment of connection with subnet to no selection expand configurations and select IEPG access click on the button delete project specific IP addresses close all the windows and then try to select go online from online menu again Select the interface where your PGPC is connected to the CPU and then click on Start Search. You should find one. If not, then possible reasons are, wrong subnet selected, wrong IP of your PC, broken Ethernet cable, CPU is not powered and so on. Select the PLC and click on Go Online. Connection to the second PLC is established successfully. Select your first PLC and assign it to the subnet PNIE1. Check if IP address is correct. Compile and save your configuration. You need to download hardware configuration before you try to connect to the first PLC. Select your second PLC, right click on it and select download to device, hardware configuration. Wait until the process is finished.
S7 rooting setup is sent to the second CPU, now you can download hardware configuration to the first one. Select your first CPU. Right click on it, select download to device and then select hardware configuration. Select PNIE2, as PGPC is connected to the subnet. TIA portal adds PLC2, as gateway automatically. Click on start search. First PLC, that is in PNIE1 subnet has been found. Select it, click load, follow further instructions, and wait till process is finished. Let's try to go online now. The first CPU is accessed by a second one successfully. That is how S7 PNIE routing works. That was kind of easy. But what to do in cross project setup? Well, Follow next steps and you will find out, that task is not complicated at all. Open your cross project. In cross project case you need to add a dummy CPU. Configure its PNIE subnet same way as in your other project. Check if the IP address of the first CPU is correct. Select the correct subnet. In my case it is PNIE1. Switch to the cross project where the real S7 1516F CPU is configured. Select the subnet where your both PLCs are connected. Select general under the profinet subnet. Copy down S7 subnet ID. Get back to the cross project where the CPU S7 1214C is configured. Select your PNIE subnet where both PLCs are connected. Paste the S7 subnet ID. Compile and save everything. After the process is finished try to go online. Select your first CPU. Click on menu online and select go online. Select PNIE2 as interface, subnet. It is where your PGPC is connected. TIA portal added second PLC as a gateway automatically. Click on start search. The CPU has been found, click on Go Online. Connection to the first CPU is successfully established. The main point is correct S7 routing configuration. Let's see what will happen, 
if the offline S7 subnet ID differs from the online. Select the subnet and change its ID. Compile, save, and try to go online. Timeout occurred with the error that connection is failed. It's because online and offline routing setup differs. That is how S7 routing works. If you find this video useful please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and happy coding.